On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you my experience on how I fixed this vent where there was no air coming out, so stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. Today's video is a little different. It's going to be kind of like a vlog style video on how I fixed my friend's vent. He was complaining that there was no air coming out from this ventilation right underneath his sink. So when he was doing dishes, he felt a cold draft coming through. So that's first indication why there must be a problem. So take your hand, place it over the vent, and if you or feel any cold air coming through hot air coming through or if you smell anything coming out of there like um that's not regular maybe there's something wrong down there it's time to check it out so luckily his crawl space entrance wasn't that far away so now we're gonna go down in this scary hole which i really don't like going underneath there that's the last place i want to be in the house there's just too many creepy crawlies that are uh, down there in my opinion so but the job has to get done you want to fully suit up so for me i fully suited up i put the respirator i never go down there without a respirator on and it's a good practice to put all your tools on the on the bags if i don't come back <laughs> this is actually my first time going down through his crawl space so i didn't know what to expect but i've had the situation before in my house where the same situation happened oh, where the air wasn't blowing through clean down here but you do have rat droppings see this rat poop very common to have rat feces or whatever droppings that you might have around here it's very common because sometimes you have um, areas around your home where you have your ventilation from the outside the, the netting are broken and you have these critters sometimes coming through those mesh and sometimes they even dig through underneath your foundation and that's how they come about getting into these spaces make sure that when you're under here double check those uh, mesh um, you see where all those lights are coming through those are the ventilation going out from your foundation to the outside and double check that they are fully closed and yeah it's a very easy fix i'll show you that on the net on the future video but as you can see um i already saw that the ventilation down there was already down so i'm already expecting that that was probably the main problem but i wanted to go all the way down the line and check to see if that was actually the the only problem because you don't want to just speculate that that was that's it you want to fully go through the whole line and double check that everything is nice and stable so that's what i did and i found out that everything was stable and that's pretty much an easy fix while i was down here i was actually able to go around and double check other ventilations too while i'm down here you know kill two birds with one stone but there was a little bit of debris that I saw inside here. So my buddy's there vent was actually open for for a, quite a while. So if you look, when I looked in there, I saw that there were some droppings. And also there was droppings in this ventilation duct right here that was down. Which is very common when it gets warm here in the Pacific Northwest or when it's, it gets very cold. Um, this starts blowing air and the and the, the mice or the rats, they like to go in there and start hibernating. I don't know what they do but yeah double make sure that make sure that you clean out that before you actually close this up so i actually bought the wrong um clamp on there so um, I, I bought a four inch and yeah i should have bought a six inch for this ventilation um, diameter but i'm cleaning out what they, the old owner did was they put duct tape around this to secure it and that's it which is in my opinion it's not satisfactory and also the duct tape ruined this um, uh, the insulation around there so once you put it on there and actually another thing that they did wrong was they cut it exactly they didn't leave any slack at all which in this case when you're putting ventilation you want to put a little bit of slack and not make it fit exactly and that's probably what caused this to disable or to come apart and so what I did was I trimmed around the vent duct. I, I, I'm, I shape, I'm shaking out all that feces. Some of them were in there. So make sure that before you install this, make sure that the line is clean. Take out the feces or whatever dirt got in there during that time. In this case, this was down for quite a few days. So now I'm using my um, 
vent tape i like using this this is by 3m all the tools i use in this video i'll leave it in the description down below but first thing that i want to do is secure this or have this hold since this is such an exact fit um, I can't really place a clamp or zip tie over it without falling or making it difficult so I need an extra hand I don't have anybody else helping me out so I'm just using this as a secondary hand and temporarily just taping this so that it'll hold so while I use my zip tie or tie wrap and um, technically speaking that's the right term for it but um, yeah our cable ties Make sure that you have the nice cable tie. So I do apologize. I keep touching my lens because this insulation on the up above me kept moving my camera. So be patient with me while I keep touching that lens. So while I do that, I'm just going to temporarily wrap this area around. So notice how I peeled back the insulation of the vent duct itself. I'm not, I'm not um, securing the vent um, insulation, but I'm actually securing the exact vent duct. So that's what I'm zip tying right now. Make sure you peel back the insulation and actually tape or zip tie or tie wrap the vent, vent duct itself and not the insulation because that will come loose. That will come later. After you do that, make sure you put over the insulation sleeve over and then tape it down. And this is one of the securest way to do it. What I did was I buried that um, zip uh, that tie wrap around there with ventilation duct over it so that we can have that double security that it won't fall off in the future okay so now i'm just pretty much just um, doing some aesthetic work i'm closing down all the holes exposed insulation with this tape and yes yeah, i go around here i'm just securing it to the main section as well i know i'm kind of going a little crazy with this vent tape but i want to make sure that this is not going to be coming down and i'm wrapping it around also onto the insulation itself just make sure that you don't tape too tight on that insulation be or it'll lose its r factor okay so that's what it is notice how this this vent is so exact i wish the past owner who who or whoever installed this left some slack so that it wouldn't come off and that's probably what caused it but i'm pretty sure that this will not come apart in the future while i was down here i was looking at the other vents and noticed that yeah they whoever did this just put duct tape around there and in my honest opinion duct tape i know sometimes duct tape is the one um known to be the the cure-all solution for everything but it's not make sure you use the right tape for this they have vent tape just like what i'm using here and the other ones beside it the vent i'm actually I'm gonna fix that as well while you're down here go and fix up whatever you can find or spot i know i don't want to be here as as longer as i need to be but i saw this on the way and might as well fix it and close up all those gaps from the insulation so that he can have proper insulation coming through or proper insulated vent ducts coming through here but yeah i made it everything's good so let's get out of here <laughs> so there you have it make sure that you take out all your your clothing right when you're still in that hole and then yeah make sure you don't leave any debris behind please hit that big thumbs up subscribe and notification bell if you found this video helpful and i'll see you in the next video friends thank you for tuning in